this is truly a momentous time for for uh, the Port of Virginia and the Commonwealth of Virginia as a whole. With the stroke of a pen, it became official. Years of work to formalize the agreement on who was responsible for what in the building of Craney Island's eastward expansion became reality when Colonel Paul Olson, commander of the Norfolk District U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, and Jerry Bridges, the Virginia Port Authority's executive director, signed their names on the line. The signing of this agreement today puts us in uh, full speed ahead mode. Our terminal is literally coming out of the water. It's a phoenix coming out, arising from the water, which will be constructed. And soon, you know, you can see the, the ships coming in and out of that, that terminal, raising the economic power of, of the harbor and then raising the, uh, the, uh, the national power with that as well. The eastward expansion of the Corps' dredge material management area will expand the life of the facility as well as provide additional land for the Virginia Port Authority to open a new terminal complex complete with interstate and rail tie-ins. Years from now, we will have a new facility to expand our growth. According to the Port Authority, the expanded facility is needed to keep up with the increasing ship traffic calling on the port, as well as the expected growth in larger post-Panamax ships, which will be making stops here as well once the Panama Canal expansion is complete in 2014. The expansion of the Panama Canal will play very large in the increased volumes that move through our port and Craney Island will be key in us capturing a bigger share uh, of that cargo. The new facility is projected to have a large positive economic impact for the nation. Uh, it's projected that this project, uh, once it's completed, will produce over uh, 54,000 jobs. Jobs that are needed and highlight the importance of having a formalized agreement to move forward to the finish line. We know that we've been working on this process for uh, a number of years, but you know, sometimes to get to the essence of the matter and get the best product, it takes a little time. From Norfolk, Virginia, Patrick Bloodgood, 